Postal Service is older than our nation, but it's getting more press than it probably wants right now. So we're looking closer into what these debates mean for regular people just trying to vote. We wanted to chat with KDKA's longtime political editor, John Delano, live via Zoom. John, thanks so much for joining me tonight. Hey, good to be with you, Megan. So, John, my first question for you is what are the political implications of what's happening with the Postal Service right now? Well, of course, it's political. After all, this lawsuit is being brought by Democratic attorneys general across the country. But there are far more implications than just that because it involves an election, this coming election, and whether people's ballots can actually be delivered to county election bureaus. And so there's politics all over this. The Democrats used it last night during their convention, and I know we're going to hear more about this in the days to come. But there are real serious issues when it comes to mail delivery, not just with ballots, but also with prescription drugs. Many, many seniors get their prescription drugs through the mail, and you certainly don't want those to be late. John, what feedback are you hearing from Republicans right now? Well, I'm hearing from Republicans, certainly with respect to the Democratic convention last night, if that's the focus. It seems to me that the basic argument that I heard from Lou Barletta, former Congressman Lou Barletta, who chairs the Pennsylvania Republican delegation to their convention next week, he says all they did last night was trash Donald Trump. They didn't really offer any proposals, that is the Democrats, for how this country moves forward. And uh, that's going to be, I think, a continuing theme line from Republicans that uh, they have no message other than trashing the president. And of course, then they try themselves to call Joe Biden a left wing radical, a socialist. I mean, they call him all kinds of labels. We're going to hear a lot more of that in the next week when they hold their convention. What do you expect, if anything, to make headlines tonight at the DNC? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Tonight at the Democratic Convention, you've got past presidents. You've got Jimmy Carter, and you certainly have Bill Clinton who are going to speak. You have a bunch of young, rising stars in the Democratic Party, they believe, including Congressman Connor Lamb. They've all read the same speech, and they're going to splice them in between lines, so you'll see all of them in a, in a minute or two. And then, of course, the big speech tonight is Dr. Jill Biden, who is going to address the country from a school. She is a teacher after all, and I'm sure we're going to hear about that part of her, her life background. But most of what she's going to talk about, we are told, will be personal reminiscences about her husband, Joe Biden. Thanks so much, John. We always appreciate your insight and for joining us tonight. You have to go grab some dinner before the convention starts in a little bit.